The other day I demonstrated a script I'm working on that behaves similar to shape keys but using bones. It allows you to make pauses and turn them into a slider with a single click. Let's see how I achieve this using action constraints. In the timeline, I'll make sure auto keying is turned on before hitting F12 to switch to the dope sheet editor, but I'll change the context to action editor. At rest position, set a keyframe on the bones that you want to pause. Then I'll scrub to frame 10 and create my pause. The frame number doesn't actually matter, but remember it's at frame 10 for later. Now we have an action which I'll name in the box and check the fake user button, which essentially saves the action into Blender's cloud of eternal greatness. Now we need something to drive this action, so I'll add a new bone and rename it accordingly. Then I'll select one of the pause bones and come up to the bone constraint tab, add bone constraints, action. We want the target to be our driver, so I'll use the dropper, which will select the armature, and then I'll type in the name of the bone. This section tells Blender what property to use to drive the action, and in this case, I want to use the bone's Y location in local space, which will mean that when the bone is moved, the action will be turned on. But first, let's change the target range 0 to 1 and the action range 0 to 10. This means that when the bone is at 0, the action is at frame 0, and when the bone is at 1, the action is at frame 10. But notice the action is red, and that's because we need to tell Blender which action we're referring to. If we test it out, you can see that it works, but we need to constrain the movement of this bone so that it stays in the target range. Select the control bone and go to Bone Constraints tab, and Bone Constraint Limit Location. Now check every box, including for Transform, and convert to Local Space. Set the maximum Y value to 1 and our controller is bound to the target range. You may have noticed that it only drives the one bone, so we need to copy this action constraint to any other bone that we use to create this pause. To do this, select the other bones, shift select the bone with the action constraint and press F3. Now type copy C and find copy constraints to the selected bone and the job is done. Of course, now you know how to do it, you won't want a script that does all this and adds a convenience slider with one click of a button. Though if you do, I'll be releasing the script for free once this video hits 10 million views. Just kidding, but please share it if you found it interesting and consider supporting me on Gumroad. And like the video and all the other stuff you don't actually hear me saying because you've already clicked away from the video. If by any chance you haven't, drop me a comment saying something like that ending was incredible so I know who the loyal viewers are. Peace.